Hey everybody, this is Daniel from Second Start of the Right, and I wanted to make a short video today to introduce you guys to the wishlist functionality on our website. Um, what is it basically and, and how it works? So uh, first of all, what are wishlists? I mean, as the name suggests, you can um, look at any of the books or products on our website. Um, and it represents what we have in store, what our what we can order from warehouses. Like it's not, it's it's a very big stock. If there's a book you're interested in, we probably uh, you can probably find it on our website. And uh, basically, it's a functionality that lets you add a bunch of books to a single list um, for uh, to share out to have for yourself, whatever. I mean, you can have a personal wish list. You can, if you're an educator, you could have a classroom wish list. You could do a baby registry or a birthday party. Um, and other people would be able to see that wish list and, and buy things from it, um, you know, that they know you want because you put it on your wish list. Um, so first things first, how do you make a wish list and add books to it? And I'm just going to start by searching a book. Um, I'm going to do the Vanquishers, upcoming Kalen Barron book that we're all really excited for. There we go. And you can see, and so this one's a pre-order, so you can add pre-orders to your wish list, um, which is really cool. Um, you can see right beside the add to cart button, there's an add to wish list button. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, you just click that one and it'll pop up with this window. You can see I made a test wish list already. If you don't have a wish list made, I think the only option here will be create a new wish list, and you can check that and then name it whatever you want. Um, since I already have a wish list, I'm just gonna add it to mine and then I'm gonna click submit. And then there you go, Daniel's wish list updated successfully. So now that I've updated my wish list, where do I see my wish list? Uh, there's a heart and also a tab that says wish list um, right here on the website. So you can click either one of those, the wish list tab on the menu or the heart up here right beside your uh, account icon. There we go. And then you can see this is the wish list page. This is where this video is going to go. You have wish lists, um, your personal wish list down here. You can create new ones. You can bulk upload all kinds of stuff. Um, another cool thing before I, we even get into uh, all of those options is if you know someone made a wish list, you can search their name or their email or a keyword um, over here and you can find their wish list and, and shop from it. So that's really cool. Um, let's see. So a couple of options on here. Obviously, you can create a new wish list. You can also bulk upload, which is a really nice function. If you have um, a bunch of books on a um, in a spreadsheet or you don't want to go and you know slowly add each to your wish list you can just get all their isbn's paste them in a row formatted like this and then it'll upload a whole bunch of them at once so that's a really convenient way to do that um and then as for you know looking at your actual wish list that you made let's click into my test wish list i think i have four books on here here we go um and yeah you can see your books you can get a link at the top it's shareable. You can send that to anyone. Um, we as a store can share it out to promote your wish list, anything like that. Um, you can remove things from the wish list. Maybe someone buys it for you another way, or you, you get it on your own. You can remove stuff by checking the box and updating it, all that fun stuff. Um, where it really gets cool down here, uh, you can set an expiration date. Um, you can choose things not to ship, and you can opt out of emails. When it'll email you when someone orders from your wish list. Usually, you're going to want to you know, stay with all those things. Those are nice and helpful. You can also add notes. Um, but the cool thing down here, you can put in a mailing address. And that way, um, you know, if someone buys something from the wish list, it'll give them the same options as normal. They can have it shipped or they can have it set to in-store pickup. Um, in-store pickup, we would just, you know, give a call to um, to you and tell you, hey, someone bought something from your wish list. We have it here. Um, and for shipping, we would ship it to whatever address you put here. So if you're a teacher and maybe you want shipped to your school, you can put your school address. It'll have your name on it, so it should be, um, you know, easy to figure out. Um, you can put your personal address, and it'll be shipped there. Really, totally up to you what you want to do. And make sure you check use this address as a delivery address as well, and save your settings there. Um, you can email your wish list. There's like a pre-made template, but like I said, it might just be easier to get the link at the top. And then right here is another way to uh, do that bulk upload I was talking about earlier. So that is the basics on what um, the wish list is and how to use them. I hope this was helpful. And uh, go ahead, start adding stuff, make a wish list, and share it out, and we can get everybody more books. And that makes the world a happier place, in our opinion. So uh, hope this was helpful. Have a great day, guys.